Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. I just posted a video, or not a video, a community page, a post about the Mercury Retrograde, which will be on September 9th, as you all know. It is pretty challenging for us empaths. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Some people feel it more than others. But I am doing a group ceremony with Santa Muerte. You do not have to be her devotee. It is good if you are, though, because it kind of just helps since you will be obviously living offerings and reaching out to her. But I am doing a group ceremony for Mercury Retrograde with Santa Muerte to help you to be strong, to stay grounded, and to say no to anyone that might come up from your past, especially if they did you wrong. Obviously, if someone's coming back from the past, with good intentions and that's a different situation but this particular group ceremony for the candle is going to be to give you strength to stay grounded so that you will know if someone is coming back in a bad way say no to them for example that ex that was toxic or that friend that was actually your enemy like anyone negative that's trying to come back for you to be strong and say no to this person or this situation whatever it might be that is the focus of the candle work but if you would like to join, it's $20 per person. You can email me, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail.com. I will have that ceremony on September 9th, which is perfect because September 10th is the full moon in Pisces, which is basically releasing, right? So making sure that we are saying no and releasing the things that are not meant for us any longer so that we can move forward and fulfill our life purpose, our destiny for our highest good. So that's what the whole ceremony is about. Let me know if you're interested. Email me. And I will add you with your own personalized candle that's going to have a specific letter assigned to you so that way you know which candle is yours. So we have the Tower and the Ten of Swords as I cut the deck here. So let's see what's going on. Messages from your spiritual team, positive energies only. I am using a darker uh, cult type of tarot deck, so just be mindful that this is not a regular tarot. This is more like darker aspect. The only reason I got it is because I wanted to connect more with Santa Muerte, so I did use this deck just to get more messages here because I'm talking about Santa Muerte, so I use more of a darker tarot. So just be mindful of that. Only good energies here, nothing negative. With the chariot, I feel like things are moving forward. I'm also getting because of like, there's blood here. I feel like it's a slayer of men. So I feel like I'm not going to read the whole descriptions because I know you guys don't like this type of tarot for some of you, but um, it's almost like you guys are artistic. You need to be more creative, but I am seeing here that someone could have been manifesting against you through blood magic, like doing dark spells against you, but I don't feel like it's going to be successful because I said I'm using this for Santa Muerte and Santa Muerte protects. She cuts out the negativity from anyone or anything that is trying to harm you. If you are her devotee, she protects you with her scythe. She will cut that out. So the chariot is cancer energy. You are them, but I feel like you are moving forward and you are no longer being hurt. You are no longer being affected because Santa Muerte is here to protect you. The color red is root chakra. It also talks about you feeling, you revealing. Okay, so she is revealing the truth and she is unveiling something for you to see who your enemies are she will show you your enemies is what i'm seeing here but i'm also getting um you're a very passionate 333 angel number this could also be aries leo sagittarius type of energy but the way this card the imagery is like it almost looks like he stabs himself and he's taking it out of his neck but he's actually holding it behind his neck ready to strike three four five angel number so step by step you are slowly starting to see the truth of who your enemies are, what type of spell work they've been trying to do towards you. For those of you that this applies to, because this is not for everybody, but it's like you are seeing the truth, communication, clarity, throat chakra blockages are being removed. This is helping you to see the truth to move forward. You are a fighter and this energy of Santa Muerte is protecting you against your enemies, whether you know who they are or not. She is here to help fight for you. That's this card here. What's the next one? And for those of you who are curious, this is the Goetia Tarot, which is associated with the Seal of Solomon. So it is um, based off of that. The Six of Cups. There's someone from your past. It says teaches one. Okay, it says teaches rhetoric and languages, but I heard teaches one and gives a good reputation. So I feel like you guys could be teachers, 444 angel number, or you were in a past life and you're meant to teach and heal in this lifetime because the six of cups is a past. I'm also getting someone from your past was talking shit about you because they're trying to cause drama. They're trying to give you a bad reputation. 
But Santa Muerte is protecting you from that type of negative energy. This person is a false person. This person is a hater. Then we have the Hermit, which is a creepy looking card here. But the Hermit is someone who is, uh, it's Virgo energy, but it's something that is hidden within teaches philosophy, divination, and fire palm reading. So I feel like someone was trying to go within doing readings behind your back, trying to figure you out. Someone was trying to do this in secret, whether they paid someone or they themselves were trying to do spell work against you. I'm also getting um, the hexagram. This person tried to hex you with the seven of swords by speaking negatively. They were also trying to control. Okay, so this is really odd energy, but I'm going to say it anyways because it's, I don't know what the hell these people are doing. But whoever did not like you or is trying to cause drama. Um, sorry, the reflection is pretty strong on these cards, but I, I like it. It's very pretty. Um someone was talking about you in a negative way i'm also getting they were trying to block your archangels from coming towards you that is why this is a spiritual battle and at the bottom of the deck the eight of pentacles you have strong spiritual energy servitors is what i'm hearing for some of you or familiars and they are protecting you with the eight of pentacles someone this could have been someone in your workplace someone that you worked with or that was around you but i feel like Someone was trying to block your spiritual team from coming towards you by using negative low vibrational spirits. And that's what the whole spiritual battle warfare thing was about. But it's not happening. It's like it, they cannot stop your significant spiritual team. I heard your significant other as well. It's like they're trying to block your blessings. And this person is retarded. I'm sorry, but that is what I'm hearing. With the three of wands, the time is now. I'm also getting that this person is watching or either psych psychically stalking you or just intuitively knowing and having some type of sense of what is going on and they know that they can't affect you and they're upset about it this says pro procures the love of a woman tales of things past present and future builds love between friends and enemies and then there's a wall so i feel like this person was trying to put a wall between you and your blessing so like you feel like you never get love you feel like you never get money you feel like you da -da -da -da. all this negative shit no it did not work you are getting love you are getting blessings. You are getting money. You do have friends. You are successful. You are grounded. You are beautiful. You are healthy. All of these things are positive things that are coming towards you. And no one and nothing is going to stop this. Your spiritual team, very strong energy right now. I'm hearing your spirits protect you. Your spiritual energies, very strong. I heard highly chaotic, but also highly insightful and full of wisdom. They will strike your enemies down. And that is the chaos. That is the spiritual enemies spiritual enemies the spiritual energy to fight the spiritual enemies giving them the same type of energy that they're giving you but your spiritual team is doing this to protect you okay papa legba baron samadhi mama brigitte hecate lilith sekhmet kali type of energy is what's coming through okay you guys are protected this person is kind of watching on the side pissed off that their magic against you is not working they tried to cause conflict between your friends and family i don't think so your spiritual team is here and they are protecting you no matter what what else anything else the king of swords this could be a gemini reveals knowledge and forthcoming battles i'm also getting if you're not a Gemini or you're not dealing with a Gemini, whatever, this that's just a zodiac sign. But they're coming to fight for you. Your spiritual team is fighting for you. You could be having significant dreams. Write them down. Even if you think it's nonsense, write it down. There are messages there for you. Yes, with the four pentacles. This says, tempts thieves to steal, serves as an excellent familiar. This person is seeing... That anything that they're throwing at you, negative energy, you're not picking up the bait. You're not catching the negative energy. You are claiming back your energy. You are being mindful and they're upset. 9-11, Archangel Michael protects you. With the Page of Pentacles, this person is two-faced. You have familiars that protect you. You are using herbs. You are using crystals. You are using candle work. You're using your divination to protect you with the page of pentacles. It's like you are learning. You're an apprentice of the most high by claiming back your energy with the four of pentacles. You are an apprentice with the page of pentacles. You're learning how to claim back your energy with the emperor and stepping into your power. And this person who's trying to block you that wants to be like emperor mimicking your energy can't do it. You are the Aries Taurus, Aries, Taurus energy. I heard Tori. 
I don't know if Tori is like a significant name. I also heard authority. Your spiritual team have authority over your enemies. Your enemies cannot come near you. It's like you have like this wise counsel that protects you. 1010, there is an ending to this nonsense because enough is enough. This person cannot control you. You are healing from something, whether that's physically, emotionally, or mentally, you were healed. You're taking back your crown. By the way, have you guys watched the House of Dragons or whatever it's called? I think it's pretty cool so far. <laughs> I'm a big Game of Thrones fan, by the way. Game of Thrones is like, I loved it, and I can't wait to watch the rest of the House of Dragons. But anyways, back to your reading. <laughs> you guys have Egyptian ancestors. You have darker energies for those of you who connect with that, but in a good way. And then you have your spiritual team, angels, gods, goddesses, what have you. But you do have strong protection, okay? You're taking back your power, your energy, and your strength. What else? What else, spirit? I'm hearing what now? <laughs> it's like your spiritual team is like, oh my god, they're not stopping. Like, what now? Like, what the fuck? What now? That's what I'm hearing. It's like they're rolling their eyes. Like, they're, your spiritual team is so over the nonsense that this person keeps it doesn't give up. Like, they keep going and going and going. It's like, just stop already. This fool, you have the fool card. I heard this fool. <laughs> Understanding of animals and the voice of waters, answers of things to come. So, you have spiritual energies telling you what's going on. The full card is a new chapter, a new beginning, but I'm also getting this person is going to feel like a fool because they think they can stop your blessings and they cannot. With the death card, which is, um, this says Lucifer because it does have like the, the Glacia spirits on here, but the death card is transformation. It's also Santa Muerte. So it's like she's watching. It's like, if you look at the card, it's pretty creepy, but it's basically like, it says provides liberation and illumination, insights, jealousy, and envy. But the way I'm reading it, because I read intuitively, is that Santa Muerte is showing you who your enemies are. She is showing you who's jealous. She's showing you who does not have your best intentions. Who doesn't have goodwill towards you. Who are your enemies? Who is spiteful? Who is secretly wishing bad upon you behind your back? I'm getting goosebumps everywhere. So Santa Muerte is here. And she is showing you 440 on the clock, which is 44. That is her number for those of you who don't know. 12, 12 angel number as well. She's definitely present. And so are all of your spiritual team. Positive energies here protecting you from anything negative and low vibrational. They cannot harm you. They cannot hurt you. What is not allowed. With Lucifer, the death card, because that's the card that's coming up here as a Galatia spirit, but I'm reading this as Santa Muerte, I feel like she is sitting here with all of this negative energies blocking it. It cannot come near you. I heard the, the seraphim or cherubim, I don't know, I'm saying that wrong, but it's like that energy is around protecting you. It's not negative, it's helping you. The Knight of Wands, yes, look at that. And, and a spiritual army, I heard a strong protection guardian surrounds you. Work with your crystal and herbs because I keep getting cards about talking about herbs and stones, which are crystals. Transports anyone from one place to another. So you guys definitely are having dreams at night where you are um, astral projecting. They're showing you in your dream state, 1313, 13, so that you can protect yourself of who your enemies are to be mindful of who they are. If you dreamed of someone, a coworker or someone around you that... You kind of have this weird feeling that you thought maybe they're not the best friend or they don't have like good intentions. You're right because if you dreamed of them, your angels, your guide, Santa Muerte, she's showing you who your enemies are. She's guiding you even though you can't see it because they're not necessarily exposing themselves. They will be is what I'm getting. The 18th or the 9th or the 19th could be significant numbers for you guys. And I just burped. So there's like energy release. You guys are going to be shown the truth. 555 angel number as well. With judgment, yes. Karma. This, These people, this person that you're dealing with. I heard one's end. So this person who tried to end you, they're going to get ended. They tried to end any of your blessings, promotion, success, victory, being liked in the community. Like they tried to stop you if you have like a social media or some type of public figure, energy, whatever you're doing. They try to block it. They can't. People are going to see the truth that you are definitely genuine with what you do. And you're not trying to harm anybody. It's only a matter of time. I'm seeing something go like back and forth like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's only a matter of time. Judgment is here on your enemies. What else? What else, Spirit? Any other messages for the collective? Any other messages for the collective? Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> The Five of Cups. 
Thank you, Spirit. The way that horn went off, because I'm clear audience, that's confirmation. Someone's going to get left out in the cold. Secrets are going to be revealed about who this false person is. They're going to get left out in the cold, and they're going to be really upset about it. Let me see what the other card is. You actually had two cards. The first one is the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from something. And then the Two of Pentacles, which is an imbalance. So you are going to be walking away from an imbalance, a job, or something that is not serving your highest good. Yes, it's sad, but you're going to release it because you need to do what makes you happy. I'm also getting as you walk away and you let go, it's also going to restore balance. And whoever's trying to cause an imbalance is going to be looking at you like, what? Like, how the hell did you figure out what to do? Or how did you know that this was an imbalance that I was trying to cause? This person's going to be angry the way this animal is spitting fire here with the nine of wands. They tried to inflict the wounded warrior energy upon you, but you were standing mighty tall here as a queen of swords with all of these beautiful peacock feathers around this energy here. So it's like you already knew you were strong with the five of wands. You are battling this energy and you will be successful with the five of pentacles. Five, five, five. As I was saying, this person's going to get left out in the cold with the world card. There is an ending to this nonsense. Because you are the one who put in the work. You are the strong one. You have the familiar. Look at there's a man holding an animal. It's like you have this protection around you. I'm also seeing someone is jealous and envious of your looks. Guy or girl doesn't matter. There is someone here because it looks like she's holding a mirror. Someone is doing spell work on the daughter of Venus is what I'm hearing. So you could be a Libra or a Taurus or that's their sign. I don't know. But there's something here. Someone was trying to make you feel bloated, make you feel like you're heavy or sluggish. Someone was trying to make you eat unhealthy foods. Someone is projecting negative energy because maybe they look like a bag of potatoes. I don't know. But someone here is jealous of your looks and they were doing mirror magic to try to make you look ugly. Again, I pulled the same damn card. I didn't even realize it with the world. It's not going to happen. With the King of Pentacles, you are meant to be successful. You are meant to be successful. That's what I'm hearing. You are meant to be successful. You are the chosen one. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks pissed off. Like, ew. Like, I feel like your enemy is looking at you like, oh my god. They're jealous. <laughs> They're jealous. Yeah, like a justice. Because, okay, so they have bad karma. The universe has their eye on your enemy. They're getting karma with the Queen of Cups here as your next card because you are loved. I know this is like a Goetia spirit. I think it's called Phoenix. I'm not probably not saying that right, but I, I don't know. I don't work with them, but it's like um, the rising Phoenix rising. That's what I'm getting. You guys could be Scorpios or have that placement. But it's like you did the work. You are trying to better yourself. You are trying to spiritually connect more. You're leaving offerings. You're being grateful. Gratitude. Yeah, look at that with the nine of pentacles. It's like you have this beautiful unicorn type of energy. Music is healing. Your third eye is activated. The temperance card wants to pop out. Which talks about peace and healing. Warms. It says makes great noises and warms water. So it's almost like um, if you're hearing sounds, the sound of music will heal your soul. Because water is emotions. Read between the lines. With the two of swords. Meditate because there's messages for you. It says send soldiers to appointed places. So you have spiritual soldiers. Spiritual protection energies coming after you. To protect you from your enemies. Gar guarding you and guiding you is what I'm hearing. The ace of cups. The page of wands and the two of wands. It is your choice if you want these protection energies around you. Because I am reading the Goetia spirits, okay? So this is very much, uh, for this is not for everyone, okay? I know, based from what I read, that if you do work with this energy, you must be very respectful. And you must know what you're getting into before. You can't just jump in and dabble. It doesn't work that way, okay? This is very um, energy that you need to do respectfully. And you need to research if you decide to work with this, okay? The Ace of Cups is love from the spiritual realm. Page of Wands is messages for you that you will receive through your meditation. You have the answers, no one else. And then the Two of Wands is a choice. Okay, I'm also getting releasing the past, moving towards the future. No longer letting the past define you or hold you back, which makes perfect sense for that Mercury retrograde candle group ceremony. Letting go of the past and stepping into the new, saying no to the past. 
realizing that you are not your past and you are moving forward some of you guys have weird familiars this is a creepy card but i'm gonna show it you have strange types of spiritual animals so i heard because i was going so you guys have a snake spirit animal but it's weird it's slithers maybe it's multiple heads i don't know it's like a weird uh, animal but it's your familiar it's helping you it's healing you from anything negative that anyone sends look as i say that the temperance card i pulled it out archangel gabriel i heard the angel of judgment is going to cause conflict towards your enemies based on whatever the universe sees fit because that's their karma but you are being healed you are being protected you are being shielded you are safe okay all right you guys this reading went on a little bit longer than i expected but that's your reading i send you many blessings let me know if this resonates please like and subscribe thank you so much so so much for all of you um thank you for those of you who have gotten a reading from me you will be receiving those um readings within the next between monday and tuesday you guys should be getting your reading so just be mindful i'm trying to catch up with everything so thank you for your patience and then also uh what else any other updates yes for those of you who are sending me any types of gifts amazon wish list or just whatever you guys are sending me um as you know you i just i'm hearing a token of gratitude so thank you so much i really do appreciate all of the gifts that you guys give me the emails i truly appreciate it i love you guys so much i would not have this channel without you so you guys are what makes this this little dream of mine a reality and i'm so grateful thank you bye guys